What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. EA Sports released the 91 rated or higher um, team of the year. Golasso, was it Golasso team one or was it Greats of the Game team one? Greats of the Game or Ultimate Birthday Icon SBC. It's wildly expensive in my personal opinion coming in at an 87, an 88 and a 90 rated squad. But we're going to open a whole bunch today. And see if it's worthwhile if you're enjoying the content feel free to drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's go oh this oh my god he actually done two he actually done two he's got burkamp blanc or the sbc ribery you know he's taking ribery ridiculous choice burkamp was the obvious choice there but oh my days he's literally taken two cards that had sbcs already all of those were L's. Most of those were SBCs already. That is madness, isn't it? That is madness. I mean, I'm, listen, I'm sure he'll do a job in game. I'm sure he'll do a job in game. What do we got here? Zanetti, Van der... Okay. Already, I can guarantee you that we are going to see a whole bunch of Zanettis, a whole bunch of Zambrottas, a whole bunch of Burkamps, and a whole bunch of Van der Sars. I guarantee it. Yeah, that the fact that you've got like that 95 Maguire, like, you've got 84 by 10s at all. Uh, my man, yeah. Let, let's watch. Let's watch one of these. Oh my! Oh my days! You've been saving. You've been saving. Go on, rip one. Rip one. Is Ian Wright coming a lot? Is he? Yeah. Half of it. Damn. Do you know what? Do you know why that pack is actually amazing? No dupes. How awesome is that? No dupes. Eighty-four by ten. Virgil van Dyke, no dupes again. Rates of the game icon, ultimate birthday icon, team of the year icon. Here we go. Let's go. Zanetti, Blanc, and Hernandez. Hernandez is okay, I suppose, isn't he? Yeah, like I said, right. I, listen, guys, at the end of the day, right, I don't mind picks like this. I don't mind a 91 plus pick that's going to give you some red herrings. Or, or to, to be fair, mostly red herrings, right? I don't mind it. Just make it affordable because the likelihood is unless you get one of the absolute elite icons nothing is moving the needle then that's what i said right you're gonna see a lot of the high rated ones and they're gonna be all those trash bag ones davor suker man he was i like obviously he played for arsenal so i really want him to be good but he just wasn't he was garbage in game man he was garbage um and he's just cheap on the market as well and so I don't understand why EA are putting such a high price on these picks. Uh, I would understand it more if the menu grind was insane. If it was just so easy to be picking up fodder left, right and centre, just time consuming, I'd be like, yeah, fair enough. Like, that makes sense, right? We we can get a 90 rated squad without even thinking about it. But the way... It's the same cards every time. The way that they've changed... The fodder grind this last three weeks. Just not on, is it? Come on, EA. Come on, let's get some good picks, man. Make people actually look at this and be like, do you know what? I might. Because at the moment... Damn, I mean, do you know what? That Emmanuel Petit is, is, a good, is a good player to hit, to be fair. It's a shame that you've already got him duplicate. You had to take Bastion Schweinsteiger. That's tough. That is tough. Yeah, his goal is to get us into the store, make the grind easier, not make the grind easier for us. Do you know what gets people in the store? People that enjoy the game. They play this game. People that look at that, that pack and think, do you know what? That's a terrible pack for a terrible price. Don't sit there and say to themselves, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and buy a pack to get some fodder to, to get a really terrible icon. No one, no one does that. The Playstyle Plus is now ruining a team of the year in birthday icons. Yep, they're a bit, bit behind the power curve because of that. I agree. 11 dot right i'm gonna guess the next set of players right you're gonna have koulibaly hold on don't open it yet. don't open it yet if you hear me you have koulibaly stanway and ferguson oh two out of three ain't bad is it two out of three ain't bad it was debinha crazy now three weeks ago i reported to ea my account had been hacked to five million coins the following day i received an email then i will look into it oh this is a this is the right back you lose Nothing to lose. Is the defender. Um, 
Not bad. It's good to get one of those out of one of those packs, to be fair. Three weeks later, nothing. I quit this game two weeks ago and I've realized how unengaging it is when you take time to step away from it. Yeah. Oh, man. Honestly, like, if I didn't play this game for a living, I would play a lot more clubs. I would probably only have one account. I would still play this game. I would still play this game. I just wouldn't play it probably as... I would probably do my seven rivals wins, my champs games, and that would be about it. I wouldn't really, like, do much more than that. When people get caught up in the whole, like, making sure you get the XP... Like, look, look at today, right? One of the things that happened today is... One of the things that happened today is... As soon as 6pm came out, the most common message was... There's no XP to grind for. And whilst I don't actually think the season pass system is good for me, eh? And I hate the fact that they gatekeep the cards. People are just addicted. They're hooked, aren't they? They're just hooked. And all they want to do is get on, get their XP to get closer to that 97 rated Gerard or that, that you know, that push cast or whatever. And it's that feeling there. Damn, that was tough. It's that feeling there that when you just decide to not play this game anymore at all that that feeling that you don't have any more of oh i've got to get on i've got to do this i've got to do that i've got to get the daily sbc done i've got to do this objective i've got to do this friendly thing i've got to do this once you lose that feeling it becomes a lot like just playing the game in general becomes a lot more enjoyable for me yeah send it uh dinek how for me the most enjoyable things after the initial grind of rtgs are the themed rtgs because it's an account that I don't care about. It, like, there's a beginning, a middle, and end. There's a means to the end. And once we get to the end, it just gets thrown in the bin. Like, you know, the... Oh, Mia Ham. I have a feeling she's still all right, to be fair. The England Evo RTG is an example. I would take that, Mia Ham. The England Evo RTG is an example, right? All it is about is England players and stuff. So if there wasn't anything to do with England players... I just didn't log on and, and it was like refreshing to be like yeah there's nothing for me so never mind it's is she a bit out no I, I feel like she'd be good man to be fair um it, it's more about like when when you think you have to do everything and claim everything and own everything and earn everything that's when it gets really really difficult to to enjoy playing this game uh rojean thanks for the two brother like my extra response yesterday pack weight is on the floor Pack weight isn't the problem, though. Ooh, Davos, you care. 96 rated is nice. You correct, Nep? I've been disengaged with this game for the last month and I only play it very casually now. Yeah, and, and that's that's the best way to enjoy it. That's the best way to enjoy it is that like, he's so cheap, isn't he? He's, he is, it's nice that he's high rated, but he's so cheap. Um, It's just it's just a lot. Like, I've, I've found it, like, freeing to play this game, not thinking that I have to log on to do everything all the time. I don't think so. Here we go with another one. Javi, Blanc, and Sanchez. We've seen Sanchez and Blanc a whole bunch of times. I, I completely appreciate if people just love Gerard or Liverpool fans, do a Liverpool pass and present, things like that. I can completely appreciate it. It's Czech, it's Raul, it's Lam. Again, all three players are players that have had SBCs. What do we got? Come on, EA. Come on, EA. Let's get a real good... Icon team of the year for Zola, Raul, and Blanc. Uh, no one's showing up with that Blanc thinking he's good, are they? Rip it, brother. That's okay. Let's go. Billy Bally, Golovin, and Basher. Yep. Next one's going to be Stanway, Basher, and Dabinia. Here we go. Oh, oh my days. Man, what, like when you get one good player, you get two. Surprise, surprise. Bon Matty, Rafa, Liao, and Ferguson. Me, personally, I'm taking Bon Matty because Rafa Liao is exactly the sort of person that EA would give another promo card to. Um, I would have gone for Bon Matty, but maybe Rafa Liao for the Portuguese objective coming up. Yeah, that makes a little bit of sense. That makes a little bit of sense. Lucy Bronze. GG's, man. Listen, the fact that he took Rafa Liao... Oh, is he, oh, he's already got to make your mark, hasn't he? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I would have took Bon Matty, 100%. If, if he's taken him because he wants to use him in this weekend league uh, for the Portuguese stuff, then fair enough. You've got to respect that, right? I, I wouldn't have done personally. I would have persevered with the worst player and just been frustrated instead. Um, but, ooh, hold on. German. Striker. Oh, it's Mario. Go oh, it's 
And it's just a hero anyway, isn't it? Never mind. Do you know what's mad? How rare it is to pack a regular hero in spite of how useless they are, how behind the power curve they are, and how cheap they are. They should come out like regular cards. They should come out like regular cards. Yeah, there's a lot of Liverpool players right now if you're a Liverpool fan. Like, you, you're, getting, you're getting some good luck from me, eh, aren't you? are getting some good love. After Glory was so clear of Make Your Mark, it was. I think the SBCs have been better in Make Your Mark, to be fair. All right, here we go. The 94 Ultimate Tots Pack. Uruguay. Centre mid. Real Madrid. Not bad, because he's a regular, which means you're going to have a massive Tots in behind here as well. Oh, my days. Now that is a dub. Valverde and Bellingham together. That is a nice dub. He might even still have a real sick player in behind here as well. Jude Bellingham is the fattest dub you can get, I think, other than maybe Haaland. Stan, where's the other man? Valverde and Bellingham together in rewards. That is so legit. That is so legit. Yeah, midfield sorted and some, man. You've actually just picked, packed three insane midfielders all together. Yeah, crucial in the season pass. Get that Real Madrid set up. Here we go with that. Come on, let's see an elite, elite icon. Yeah, come on. Let's see one of the best ones. Damn, Sanchez again, Raul again, and then Pavel Nedved. I would take Nedved and just pop him into like a like Zoboslai SBC or something like that. Is Sobo a must-do SBC? I think wait until the end of... Uh, oh, this guy got right Xavi. It's, hasn't Xavi had a, an SBC as well? I didn't even get to see what he had there. I think wait until the end of the Hungary game, mate, to see. And with, like, this man putting Bar and Theate, 94 and 92, as, as fodder in the exchange. Not the exchange, but... Damn. Oh, damn. Burkamp Van Nistelrooy and Schmeichel. Schmeichel already owned. Can you believe... I would have taken Schmeichel again. You know, these champs rewards are insane. Like uh, our EA giving us, you know, something, something around the champs rewards, the red picks being insane. Oh, 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 oh my days. Why is it always one? No, how can you just disregard Pele like that? Is Rivaldo actually that much better? My guy just got two of the best cards in the game in the same pick. Pele's five million coins. What's Rivaldo saying? Oh, damn. You got some nice luck, man. That Hernandez is all right as well. Damn, Rivaldo, 7 million coins. Yeah, he's a bit clear, to be fair, isn't he? Oh, damn, man. Yeah, Rivaldo can still get upgrades, man. Plus two team, two team goals and four team goals, and he's going to end up coming up with fourth play style plus and, uh, and another plus one upgrade. Wait, that's GG, man. I think even if he did see Pele, I think Rivaldo is the play, uh, just because it's a live card. But, man, that is honestly, that was the best picks we've seen, man. That was that was a GG. Montgomery Hall, well done, mate. Well done. I haven't even looked at the store packs in so long, man. Have, have some of these store packs been good value for coins? What we got here? 40, rated, 40 items rated 85 or higher. Two guaranteed to be, I didn't even see it. Albania, Raker, Ulham, Roja, and Ozchan. 294s. Okay. That's, that sucks, doesn't it? That's actually dead, to be fair. Ozchan for Tess. Yeah, that's dead. Oh, that was that was a bit pain, man. Yeah, when you've got a team already like that, man, that's, that's a bit pain. Glory on Verts, though. That, that's, that's fully legit. Guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you uh, did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you got in your icon player picks down below. Thankfully, we saw one elite icon, but these probably weren't worth it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.